What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to multiply and divide fractional exponents, all right? So here are all the examples I'm gonna cover. I know they kind of look like a mess, but I promise you once we do a few, it's gonna actually be not too bad, all right? So I'm gonna go over a couple multiplication problems, some division, and also some combinations of the two, all right? Now, the first thing I want to mention is Whenever doing these types of problems, the two things you always want to look for are either same bases or same exponents. So for example, this first problem right here, seven to the one fourth times seven to the one half, right? These numbers right here, these are our bases, okay? So if you have a problem that has the same bases, then you're gonna either add or subtract the exponents, right? That's literally all you have to do. So here we have seven to the one fourth times seven raised to the one half. So in this case, since we have the same bases, this is gonna be equal to, well, you just write the same base, so it's a seven, right? And then here, since we're multiplying, we're just gonna add the exponents together. So one fourth plus one half. So then this is gonna be equal to, well, one fourth, we can rewrite that. Well, actually, we'll keep one fourth as is, and then we can add one half, and one half we can rewrite as two fourths, right? So then here we just have one fourth plus two fourths, which is equal to three fourths, right? So then our answer here is seven raised to the three fourths. Okay, so I know fractions, kind of gross, but it's actually not too bad. So let's jump to the next example. So next we have uh, six raised to the one half times four raised to the one third, and that whole thing is raised to the second power. Okay, so you can see that we have two different bases, a six and four, and two different exponents, one half and one third. So there's nothing really to simplify right off the bat. Uh, but the other thing that we see is we basically have a couple exponents raised to another exponent, right? So whenever you have an exponent raised to another exponent, you always multiply those together. So we're gonna take this two and we're gonna multiply it by one half and by one third. So we can rewrite this as six raised to the one half times this two out here, right, times two. And then we're still multiplying, right, by this guy over here, four raised to the one third, and again, multiply it by that guy right there, okay? So you always distribute this exponent that's on the outside of your parentheses, you basically just distribute it in here, okay? So let's simplify this. Uh, one half times two, that's equal to one. So then this is equal to six to the first power. And we're multiplying that by this guy right here. So one third times two is equal to two thirds. So this is four raised to the two thirds, okay? Now here, six raised to the first, that's just equal to six. So then here, all we have is six times four raised to the two thirds, right? Two different bases again and different exponents, so there's nothing to combine, so this is as simplified as we can get it. So that'd be your answer right there. All right, next one is four to the fifth times three to the fifth raised to the negative one fifth. Now, we have different uh, bases, but we do have the same exponent in this case, right? So this is gonna be case number two. So when we have the same exponent, you wanna combine basically whatever you have in your parentheses and raise everything to that exponent. So we can rewrite four to the fifth times three to the fifth. We can rewrite that as four times three, all raised to the fifth. Okay, so you can see we basically combined these, right? And then just raised everything to that single power right there. And then this is uh, all still raised to this guy out here, right? The negative one fifth, he's still there. Okay, so if we simplify what we have in here, uh, four times three, that's equal to 12, right? So we're gonna have 12 raised to the fifth power, and then that's all still raised to the negative one fifth power. Now here you can see we have a power raised to another power, right? So in order to simplify that, you just multiply those together. So five times negative one fifth is equal to negative one, right? So then here we have 12 raised to the negative one. Okay, now uh, 12 raised to the negative one, that's equal to one over 12 raised to the positive one, right? But 12 raised to the first is just the same thing as 12, so we can just leave it like that, right? So there's nothing left to simplify here. Our final answer is simply 1 12th. Now, this one I didn't write down because I ran out of room, but let's do this one anyways. So five divided by five to the one third, right? So 
Here you can see this five, there's no exponent on it, so it's basically the same thing as a one, right? Now here you can see that we have the same base again, right? We have a five and a five. So that means we're going to either add or subtract our exponents. In this case, since we're dividing, that means we're going to subtract the exponents, right? So then this would just be equal to, well, we have a five as our bases, so we're just gonna write a five. And then again, we're gonna subtract our exponents and you always write the one on top first. So we're going to write one minus one third. Okay, so then if we simplify this, we're gonna get five raised to the one minus one third, which is equal to two thirds, right? So then our final answer right here is just five raised to the two thirds. All right, next we have uh, 42 raised to the one third over six raised to the one third. And I forgot something over here. This is also all supposed to be uh, raised to the second power. Okay, so you can see here that we have different bases, but we do have the same exponents. So here, uh, this is again gonna be case number two, right? So the first thing we wanna do is just combine whatever we have in these parentheses and then just raise it all to that same exponent. So this is gonna be equal to 42 over six in parentheses raised to that one third. And then this whole thing is still raised to this exponent out here, the two. Okay, so then simplifying this, 42 over six, that's equal to seven uh, raised to the one third. And again, that's all raised to the second power, okay? Here you can see we have a power raised to another power. So in order to simplify that, again, just multiply. So one third times two is equal to two thirds, right? So then our final answer here is gonna be seven raised to the two thirds, boom. Next, we have this guy right here. So eight to the fourth over 10 to the fourth, all raised to the negative one fourth. Now we have different bases, right? But we do have this same exponent. And one extra little tip I wanna give you here is, you can see we're raising this whole division problem to a negative exponent, right? So uh, one little helpful tip is we can actually flip our, ex uh, our division problem, our fraction, and then turn your exponent positive. So we can rewrite this whole problem as 10 to the fourth on top over eight to the fourth on the bottom. And then you can turn this guy positive. So now we're gonna raise it to the positive one fourth. Okay, so again, you can only flip your fraction if you're raising the whole thing to a negative exponent. Okay, now here we have uh, 10 to the fourth over eight to the fourth. So as you can see, we have the same exponent. So we can rewrite this as 10 over eight all raised to the fourth, right? So I'll write it over here. So it's gonna be equal to 10 over eight, all raised to the fourth. And then we're still raising everything to this one fourth power out here, right? Now, 10 over eight, we can reduce that down to five over four. So then we can say that this is equal to uh, five over four raised to the fourth, and that's all raised again to the one fourth, okay? Now here, again, we have an exponent raised to another exponent, so you can just multiply those two together. So uh, that's gonna be equal to one, right? So all we're left with is five over four raised to the first power, which is the exact same thing as just five over four, right? So that would be your final answer right there. All right, so hopefully these haven't been too bad. Let's just do two more uh, where we combine multiplying and dividing. So the first one right here is two uh, raised to the two thirds times 16 raised to the two thirds all over four raised to the two thirds, okay? So in this problem, uh, the bases are different, but you can see all of the exponents are the same, right? So we can rewrite this whole thing, uh, leaving everything on the inside, right? Two times 16. So we'll write two times 16 and that's all over four, right? And then that's all gonna be raised, since we have the exact same exponent, all gonna be raised to that same exponent. Okay, now two times 16, that's equal to 32. So we have 32 over four raised to the two thirds. And so this uh, 32 over four is equal to eight. So then we're left with eight raised to the two thirds, all right? 
There's your final answer. All right, now lastly, we have this one down here. So 49 raised to the 3 eighths times 49 raised to the 7 eighths all over 7 raised to the 5 fourths. Okay, so on top over here, you can see uh, we have the same base, 49, 49, but we have different exponents, right? So whenever we have the same base, we can just basically write it once, right? So we can say 49, and then all we have to do is add the exponents together, right? Because we're multiplying up here on top. So up, up top over here, we're gonna say 3 eighths plus 7 eighths, right? On the bottom, uh, we just have 7 raised to the 5 fourths, right? So we'll just bring that over. 7 raised to the 5 fourths, okay? Uh, now let's simplify this. So 3 eighths plus 7 eighths, that's equal to 10 eighths, which we can simplify down to 5 fourths, right? So on top, uh, this is going to be equal to 49 raised to the 5 fourths. And then on the bottom, we have 7 raised to to the same thing, right? Five fourths. All right, cool. So as you can see, we have the same exponent now in this case. So whenever we have the same exponents, we can just combine everything, right? And then raise everything to that same exponent. So we're gonna say 49 over seven, and then just raise that whole thing to the same exponent, which is five fourths, All right? So 49 over seven is just equal to seven. So we're just left with seven raised to the five fourths. So there is your final, final answer. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.